ToyTractorTimes.com is at the 2016 National Farm Toy Show in Dyersville, Iowa. We're here with Brad um, Baird of, um, is it Couts, Indiana? Couts, Indiana. And uh, Brad's got a classic 132nd uh, scale display with the farmstead here. And uh, Brad, what can you tell us about what you built here? Well, we kind of went with the idea of the four different sections. One section being the, the wheat field and the thrashing going on and the farm stead section with the barn and the other section up there with the sawmill and down here the grist mill and then our challenge was to take these four different elements of old time summertime activities and try to combine it all together sure. well you've done a nice job and uh, congratulations on placing second in the large uh, scale competition out here that's Thank you. Uh, very well deserved so what what kind of era what time frame would this have been set in uh early 1900s I'm saying like 1910 so the first part is uh we've got the thrashing with a mccormick deering um thresher yes baker steam engine which was an old Irvin, Irvine toy. <laughs> and so uh, the way this i guess would have worked was that you'd have used um, the straw coal wood uh, wood yep. they had in the water wagon okay Put the wood in, burn the wood, make steam, and he had no clue what that was. Run the power to run the thing. I guess what's always got me into the steam engines. I've worked at a coal-fired power plant. Okay. With steam boilers. That's the best way to get electricity. That's the way we do it. Now I think I'd noticed just we're getting started. There was a little puff of steam that actually came out of the um, right out of there, and we took like a steam generator from a line out train. Okay. And put it in. Neat. Kind of got low on oil. <laughs> so then that this would drive the Baker steam engine would drive the belts over to the McCormick uh, Deering thresher, and so you put your shocks of wheat coming off the reaper over there, I guess, and um, send it through and straw pounds of grain would come into the up this spot. Which you'll see a lot of demonstrations. This is it. All right. Historical power associations and state fairs. Well, farming's come a long way, but this would this would have been definitely big time technology in its day. Yes, it would. So after, um, what uh, is this a John Deere um, Reaper over here, or what brand of Reaper is? Uh... It's John Deere colored. Okay. <laughs> I, I just kind of had to copy from pictures I found on the internet of trying to put something like that together. And well, another summertime chore is uh, putting up hay. Yeah, we've got the uh, horses and the hay wagon and the hay loader. Yeah. I actually, when I was about six years old, was standing in the front yard and watched across the street the neighbor put up hay just like this. Wow! It still left this image in my mind of doing it and. Looks like a dusty job. <laughs> had to duplicate it. So they would take the the hay, and um, we can as we get to this corner see your very well deserved trophy here with the toy farmer John Deere eighty six fifty in gold. Uh, so once you loaded up your wagon, then you take it over here to the barn and barn and put up the hay loose into the barn with the old track system and the trip rope, and on the other side of the barn you have a small tractor or a team of horses that would pull the hay up and shoot it across the barn and then when you trip this it dump the hay in a pile. The advantage of that in those days you never had to throw bales off. That's right. <laughs> Just have to fork it down. Yes. So we've got the hay loft up here and detail of the barn. So we've got the cattle yard and pasture out here and right. take a peek inside the barn. I like the cement floor detail. It's plaster and with a little chalk effect in it to age it. And then they um, like the shingles on the, the silo roof and those are barn. made out of emery cloth. Okay. We cut strips of emery cloth and then notch them up and then glue each strip on. Got the cows up here in the pasture. We've got a John Deere Waterloo boy. Uh, that must be pulling the rope to pull the, pull the uh, hay in the yeah. barn. You know, it's amazing that the, the Waterloo boy 
you know, was became part of John Deere in 1918, so they're almost to 100 years of tractor production. Sure. sure. Is that a new idea spreader over there? Or? Yeah, my son yeah. built that one. Very nice. That new idea started in 1899. Uh, I was a school teacher in uh, the Coldwater, Ohio area, and mm -hmm. um, that way his students could be in school instead of doing all the labor of spreading manure in the spring. <laughs> And then we've got the sawmill here. Yes. So this is another um, pulley type operation. Yes, uh, from a case steam engine. Which is a fertile toy they made. That case is coming up on 175th anniversary uh, for its uh, steam power, and they were definitely a leader in this. Looks like they're doing it the hard way, splitting it by hand with the. <laughs> well, he's supposed uh, to be splitting the wood to put in the. Steam okay, engine. sure. Oh, that's right there. You can see the planks of wood here from the saw, right? The sawmill. Then we've got a beautiful uh, mill here with the stream and the waterfalls. How did you How did you do the water and the? That was the challenge. We, we started with the sculpting out the area of what we wanted and then painted the base. We tried to use some different colors to make it appear to have some depth in it. And then we took the woodland scenes, water and would pour in and don't touch it for 24 hours. No, I, <laughs> I've got a display at home and I've set a tractor on it and it's got the tire tracks yes. in the middle of the pond. <laughs> And then the waterfall we made with uh, silicone and put okay. it on wax paper and then peel it off and then glue it into place next day and touch it up with a little paint to give it a little uh, foamy effect of Oh, it's water beautiful. Moving. And we've got the, um, the mill. I guess this will be the spillway coming off where you let the water in and yeah. go over the wheel. And I actually saw this mill and took some pictures and duplicated it. So, so the, again, we've kind of come full circle. So we've got the, the reaper bringing it in and then the thresher separating out the grain and then it would be taken by wagon to your mill. And, um, we have flour. <laughs> well, Brad, thank you for sharing this great display and congratulations on a well-deserved second place. It's been a very competitive year and. It's, uh, I think, one of the great things about the display is capturing history and sharing history of farming. And that's, that's what led me to putting something together like this. It's just fun to watch the parents with their kids come in and say, this is the way we used to do things, and this is the way we did it in the old days. And it's just great to, to relive some of the history of what got us where we are. It definitely is. It's a, you know, we, we're so spoiled today by GPS, and I, I film a lot of real equipment on the field, and you see people just texting away on their iPhone and seven hundred thousand dollar combine running by itself. Yes. So it's um, this stuff didn't run by itself. No, it's a lot of lot of hard work. Well, Brad, thank you again, and um, thanks for bringing it all the way out to Iowa. Thank you.